Episode 2 of the Sampdoria Career Mode. And uh, this time let's talk about our goalies. Our starting goalkeeper is of course Silvestri. Even if he's 33 years old, he's our best. And I believe he has one or two seasons left in his body. Uh, Girodi and uh, Robaglia will have few games each this season. But Miswara, who is on loan, will sadly not play this season because I don't I don't see him making a case for getting any playtime. So, yeah, first game coming up in Serie B, and uh, what do we believe? Well, I gotta start one thing. Uh, this new press conference in FC25, they are bad, really bad. Same question, and it's always about the players. And I actually think that the questions before was good, and they weren't good. At it. But compared to this, this, this is bad. So yeah, let's talk about real questions. What do we believe about this season? Well, I don't know if it's good enough to be fighting for promotion. Uh, I don't know my team that well yet, but we'll. Try to at least be one of the top 5, 6 teams this season, just to get to know the players and which one we believe for the future, so uh, we will see. Uh, maybe if we start very well, we maybe higher up our expectations, but uh, I do like this squad. There's some good mix of old and new, and uh, well, we'll see. I, Let's start at least good, right? Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Stay tuned for all the action. A warm welcome on what is a lovely evening for football. I'm Guy Mowbray and Sue Smith is alongside me for commentary. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd with their season just about to get underway. How do you see this one going, Sue? You can't beat the opening day of the season. Being away is always tough. But the players, I'm sure they can't wait to get going. They're going to want to send out a statement today, showing everybody else that they're the team to beat. Expectations high, but I'm sure they'll be ready. This is the home side's team today. Well, it looks to be a 3-4-2-1. It should be quite compact when they're out of possession, you'd think. It's just how are they going to handle those transitions, though, once they do recover the ball? Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. Well, it does look like a 3-4-2-1 formation as well, and it could end up being a 3v3 in attack, so defensively they're going to have to be strong in those 1v1 battles. Grazie 
per essere qui oggi e buon divertimento it's cleared and they can breathe easier going for the blast on goal there but accuracy has been sacrificed for power Nicely played through, but he can't keep the effort on target. Goal kick to come. And that'll do it. The end of the first 45 minutes here. the lead now and still danger here maybe an opportunity to get their noses in front with this corner played through nicely and they want to see a shot here the goalkeeper more than ready for it and he's beaten his man here this for the lead it's a breakthrough at long long last was a wonderful chance but he went to whack it rather than place it and that brings an end to the match with disappointment felt in the away end it's three points dropped yeah certainly not the best performance was it just a little off the pace for me obviously a disappointing result but the key thing is that they bounce back now as they can't afford a repeat next time out there have been a few good performances out there today, but of all the players on show, he's one that's really caught the eye. Yeah, his performance was good. Crucial goal which gave them the lead, and the belief to then go on and get the result. He showed quality throughout. Yeah, not the start we wanted for the season, uh, and the struggle of scoring is still here like we had in the preseason so that is one thing we need to focus on in the coming games definitely scoring goals the atmosphere is building this one is always a classic but what drama will we have for you today wow. all the action coming up on ea tv <laughs> Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. My name's Guy Mowbray and alongside me is Sue Smith for commentary. We've got action coming up from Italy's Serie B. Sue, what can we expect from the game then? Well, it's been a tough start to the season as far as our hosts are concerned. Certainly wasn't their best performance. They'll know that. It's now about how they respond. The players are going to be desperate to put things right over the next 90 minutes or so. Alex Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. It's certainly a 3-4-2-1 formation, and this can be quite balanced with the three central defenders, the two holding midfielders, keeping it quite tight at the back. But then when they go forward, you've got the three attackers and the wing-backs joining in as well to cause problems. This is the lineup for the visitors. Yeah, it looks like a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. This can be quite an attacking lineup with the three progressive players behind the lone striker. But you've still got that defensive protection with the two midfielders holding.
that's going to be it for the first 45 minutes. Recover possession. Well timed with the slide tackle. Had to be. Corner to come, and the goal here would probably seal it. And the ball comes in, and he's put it away, denying a goal. And that is a quality bit of goalkeeping. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away, not least the three points suit. Yeah, both teams give absolutely everything. There was a real intensity to the game, but I think the moments of quality just give them the edge, and they deserve the results. And as we know, he can be a real handful, and he's certainly been that today. Yeah, he was one of the standouts for me. Sets the bar so high and demands more from his teammates on a regular basis. Thoroughly deserve the result. Our first victory. So sweet. Uh, and Italian style, one nothing. You know, Italian leagues are known for low scoring. I know our defense have been good all pre-season and in the start of season so I know that is working but the scoring is struggling but at least we did score one goal today and didn't concede anyone so uh, I take that but uh, we, we still need to find our groove our rhythm in the game but uh, I think it, we will improve each game I see more and more about which player mixed together good and I find some play style that we really like out there uh, so I'm confident I, I think we can build from this one nothing win uh, in the coming games so the boys showed something today I hope we can stick to it and of course I wouldn't mind scoring more goals more than one right can we have that please the atmosphere is building as two sides worthy of the biggest stage get ready to clash in front of a packed stadium. All the action here on EA TV. Hello and thanks for joining us on a lovely day for a game. My name's Guy Mowbray, joined for commentary by Sue Smith. We've got action coming up from Italy's Serie B. What are we going to get from this one, Sue? Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing and I'm hoping the football lives up to it. This is how the hosts line up. It's certainly a 3-4-2-1 formation, and this can be quite balanced with the three central defenders, the two holding midfielders, keeping it quite tight at the back. But then when they go forward, you've got the three attackers and the wing-backs joining in as well to cause problems. Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. Well, it looks very similar, doesn't it? And it's key whoever plays in the deeper midfield role is capable of dropping into the back line if needed. But playing this way, you should always have a passing option.
to retain possession. He's hit that well. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. Corner kick played in. It's in. 1-0. And all the pressure made to count. Clearly the better team to this point. There's a chance for the breakaway here. Could be something on. Nail for the finish. Looks to lift it. And it's there. A lovely, lovely way to score. Made a difficult finish look very, very easy. Well, if we look at this again, he shows great vision and awareness to play the ball through. And then what a finish. He dinks it just at the right time. It's a nice bit of skill for the goal lap. They're not getting close enough here. And ready for it coming his way. And the referee's whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. Well, he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. What have you made of his performance, Sue? Yeah, he's done well, hasn't he? The standout is obviously his goal, but the quality of his all-round play has been impressive. He'll be hoping he can continue that level in the second half. Just waiting for the moment to break through. It's a good try, and only just wide of the mark. And it's all over, with the away fans able to celebrate the win and the three points. Well, I thought they deserved to win the game, didn't they? They played some really nice stuff. I thought they dominated the midfield area, and the work rate was excellent. It's a great result, that. Well, he's put in a more than satisfactory shift over the course of the game. What's your assessment, Sue? Well, it wasn't just his effort and his endeavour that I was impressed with. We've seen the quality as well. Neat finish and the right results. Win number two. And we scored two goals this game. I like the way we're going, boys. Looking better and better. And uh, yeah, three games in. And if you look at the standing, I don't mind. We are fourth place. Uh, could this be maybe there we're gonna be? Well, let's see.